how's it going? It is nearly Christmas time. I love Christmas, it's one of my favourite times of year. You can get all cosy with jumpers and blankets and drink loads and eat until you can't eat anymore even though you're so full you keep eating, oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> this is my December bullet journal spread video. We're gonna make it nice and cosy, it's gonna be great. Thank you so much for the love on my last bullet journal video. I'm so grateful, <laughs> thank you so much. I wasn't expecting so many people to see it and like it. Um, so if you're here from that video, thank you. <laughs> it was a little overwhelming, honestly, but I'm really happy, so thank you. <laughs> Remember, if you like the video, click like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Grab a cup of tea and a snack, get under a blanket, get all cozy and Let's get on with the video. Okay, so for this month, I chose green as my color theme for the spread. I used this dark green pen to do the border. These are the Crayola Super Tips. They're my absolute favorite. I wanted to try and use this Christmas wrapping paper in the spread to make it more Christmassy. So I tore up some pieces of that for the cover page. I also bought this pad of green and neutral Christmas paper. It's so cute. I took some of those and ripped them up to use in the background too. I used the green wrapping paper and some lined paper to write down the month for the front page. These are the fine liners I like to use. I put back the brown pens from my November spread and took out a light and dark green for this month. I wrote out December using the light green pen. My calligraphy isn't great still, so this took a few minutes to make sure it looked right. I stuck down the green paper first and then layered the lined paper on top, but I thought it was starting to look too much like my spread from last month, so I ended up moving it around. I also bought these Christmas stamps, a tree and a snowflake. This is a good tip actually, if you don't have ink pads in the colour you want, just colour the stamp in using a pen. It's still ink, right? It works fine. Well, I, I actually, the first one didn't come out very well. <laughs> so I just did it again. There you go, much better. Some of the papers had cute pictures on them, so I cut them all out to use throughout the spread as well. Annoyingly, it didn't record, but I also bought two sheets of stickers that matched the book of paper, so I stuck those down with some of the cutouts. One sheet was this set of words written in gold. They were having a huge sale of all the Christmas craft stuff when I visited the craft store, can you tell? <laughs> the big Santa sticker wasn't sticking, so I had to put a little rock on him. I'm definitely not getting any presents now. <laughs> I also bought these two washi tapes, one with trees and one with holly. They're so cute, I'm going to use them on all my Christmas cards. This sticker sheet is so adorable and cosy, I should have got two, but I was trying to be good. I released Santa from Rock Jail and the cover page was finished. On the other side, I outlined the page again and stuck down some scrunched up brown parcel paper. For something a bit different, I cut five strips of different patterned paper and stuck those vertically over the page. I tore a small piece of lined paper and stuck that down, then got out my letter stamps. I wanted to do a quote page here, but I couldn't really think of anything to write. So I just thought, what do I want to tell myself this month? And that was to just have the best time. So that's what I wrote down.
I added more washi tape along the paper strips and stuck down more cutouts and stickers. Sticking down all these pictures and stickers was really relaxing for me to just switch my brain off. And that's the cover pages finished. My journal is so thick from all the paper and other stuff that's stuck in it, I was struggling to clip the pages down. <laughs> These next two pages were my monthly calendar. This is where I write out all my activities for the month as I don't really end up using weekly calendars. I outlined the pages and roughly measured out the size of the calendar. I say roughly because they weren't very exact in the end, as you'll see. Like with the cover page, I used green and lined paper to write out December and put that at the top. I then started to tear up different patterned paper to lay under the calendar. My mistake here was not measuring out the lined paper that I was drawing the actual calendar on first before I covered all my markings up with paper, so I had to guess a little bit. I added more torn up pieces of paper, tucking them behind where the calendar will go. Here's me having lost my ruler, trying to measure out seven columns for the days of the week. I made this so difficult for myself, why am I like this? I found a protractor from somewhere, I have no idea and used that instead, even though it wasn't really long enough. I then measured out each row, and this is where I really messed up. I measured out four rows instead of the five that December actually has, and drew one in pen. <laughs> no! 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 But hey, mistakes happen, right? <laughs> It's fine. I then actually found my ruler and just ended up measuring the height and dividing that by five. I even got a calculator out to triple check this time. I drew out the rest of the calendar and by the end, you sort of don't notice the line I drew in the wrong place anyway, so it's fine. It's not perfect and my journal never will be because then it stops being fun and my chill time and becomes a chore. I used two different bits of paper to make the headers for the days of the week tore them into pieces, then cut up squares of lined paper to go over the top. I got out my letter stamps again and added the first letter of each day of the week to each square. I added two more pieces of lined paper to the right-hand side of the page. The top one is for any short notice events for next month or anything I need to make notice of, to be honest. The bottom piece is a little numbers tracker for YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. I had 189 subscribers at the time of filming. But actually, since filming this and editing, we're now at over 200. I'm so thankful for all of your support. It means so much more than I could ever tell you. Again, more washi tape. I can't help myself. Then more stamps and more cutouts and stickers.
This polar bear wasn't sticking down, so you know what that means. I cut this sticker in half and stuck it on the 25th of December square. I wanted to try and cover some of the boxes that weren't being used to blend the calendar into the page a little bit more. I then outlined the calendar as it was getting a little too lost. And that's the calendar page done. On the next page, I once again outlined the page, but split it in half this time. I took some brown paper and sketched out this scroll shape. This was going to be my latest playlist spread in the style of Santa's List. I thought that'd be quite cute. These songs are the last songs I added to my playlist, even if I've heard them before. I outlined it in pen and then cut it out. In the background, I wanted to add lots of presents, which I made out of all the different types of paper, including some actual wrapping paper. I made different sizes and shapes, then added details like bows and ribbons. I stuck the scroll over the top and stamped out latest playlist at the top of it. So this month there were eight songs. Cracker Island by Gorillaz. This Fire by Franz Ferdinand because I watched Cyberpunk a few weeks ago and it was so good. My Friend John by The Fratellis. King for a Day by Pierce the Veil. All I Want by A Day to Remember. Time is Running Out by Muse. Empty Walls by Serge Tankin, and Go With The Flow by Queens of the Stone Age. Let me know what you think of this list in the comments below, I'm always really interested to hear. Moving on to my habit tracker for this month, I first sketched out how big I wanted the mini calendar to be. I like to just focus on one thing to do each month. I've done spreads with lots of trackers in them, but they're just too overwhelming, take such a long time to make, and then end up being left empty where I don't fill them in, so I just try to focus on one thing. I cut out squares for the days of the week. I stuck paper over those and then stamped out the days of the week using my small letter stamps. I stuck five <laughs> lines of paper down to split into the calendar spaces. I then got distracted and made a little title for the tracker and stuck that down. Down the left hand side is where I will put what my goal is for the month. For this month that was to moisturise my hands and face. <laughs> I know this is a little weird, but just doing this one small thing for me to take care of myself really helps. Especially when it's getting really cold outside too. I split up the calendar and number the boxes. Finally, I then added cutouts and stickers over the whole page. And we're done. This page is so stinking cute. Seeing as Christmas is coming up and it can be a little crazy, I wanted to do a present ideas page so that I can keep track of ideas and what I've bought. You know how it is, it can get a bit hectic and I know I can sometimes forget what I've bought if it hasn't been delivered yet. I stuck down a big piece of lined paper for the main table. And now you can have a nice cutout and sticker sticking montage.
This page is super simple. It's just a table with people down one column and ideas on the other. When I buy something I've written down, I just tick it off in the list. And that's the December spread. I love the colours, it feels so comfy and festive, whilst importantly still being useful. But yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. We finished! That was my December bullet journal spread. I really hope you like it. Leave a comment below and tell me what your favourite part of the spread is, I always like to know. And also if there's anything I didn't put in that you would usually put in might steal some ideas but that's gonna be it for this video i hope you liked it if you did click like and subscribe for more bullet journal content again thank you so much for the support on my bullet journal videos it makes me really happy and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good christmas still find that funny. Me. I find it funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs>